Oi! Hello. We're camping. We're out in central Oregon on a river. And we just came out for a night. We're gonna chill. It's about three o'clock. We made some good time from Portland out here. And uh, we've got some sheets of ice on the ground. There's a little slushy coming in here. Not bad, we didn't really feel like uh, getting up into any high elevation or crazy snow because we are by ourselves. So we're gonna chill and we're gonna have a good time. Max chill. Max chill. That feels pretty good. Oh, you're so dirty already. Got some nice new down boots from my lovely mother and father-in-law. And uh, they're very nice and warm, and I'm excited to use them for camping because I haven't used them for camping yet. Not sponsored. He just likes North Face that much. They, they smell fine. Before I set up the awning, a little shout out to the store. Scale of two stickers. You can go get them. A couple bucks. Got some other fun things on there. This thing needs a good breather every now and then. Seriously, there's like a block of ice on the ground right in front of this camera. I'm just gonna slip and slide right into the camera. We've gotten pretty efficient at uh, setting up camp. Took us maybe 10, 15 minutes. All good to go. Now all we need is the uh, pop top for the 100 series and it will be perfect. Eventually, eventually we'll have that. What'd you make? Chicken salad sandwich. Untoasted bread, if you want um, toasted bread. Mm. Go home, toast it yourself. Okay. I need to clean my hands off real quick. It's tasty. Oh. We haven't eaten anything all day. Cooper, you you already had breakfast though. Cooper has eaten. We have not. Had a piece of cheese, and that was about it. I think something that we have not necessarily been neglectful of, but something that we don't really put a lot of thought into is our medical kit. For the longest time, we had kind of a generic backpacker medical kit in the car, and we would restock it every now and then when we needed stuff. Recently, uh, my medic reached out to us and uh, sent us this medical kit to try out. As soon as they reached out, I pretty much said, yes, I'd love to uh, give it a go because this is something I've had my eye on for quite some time. They are a bit pricey as far as medical kits go, but it is a really nice quality piece of gear. And what I really like about it is I can strap this either to the back of the seat. Um, we kind of just keep it in our drawer right now, but uh, it's very well organized. So thank you to my medic for sending this our way. Uh, if you're interested, there will be an affiliate link down below. I'll do more like a full video on this if you're interested uh, and kind of show you all the contents but so far you know we've only had to use it once but it's a nice it's a good peace of mind thing to have in your kit when you're out here thanks again my medic Kim and Cooper went on a little adventure walk and I'm just chilling listening to the river it's nice to be out in the woods very peaceful 
There was actually somebody at this camp spot when we pulled up earlier, and um, I guess they were leaving as soon as we pulled up, so that's nice. Looks like we might get a little bit of snow overnight, but I can't imagine it will be anything too crazy. It's only supposed to get down to like 36 degrees tonight, and as you can see, this is all melting and running off right now anyway, so... Cooper. <laughs> it's fire time. It's chilly out here. The heck is on my knife? What are you doing, buddy? You gotta go lay down. That might just do the trick. You don't need a lot. You just need a little. Sometimes it's easier when you have a lot. Might be eating my words here a little bit. There we go. There's a trail that goes around the whole river. Mm. You can see Winston here has made a lovely Bulgarian brownstone. If you don't know what it is, you can't afford it. That's right. We have some surprise guests that will possibly be here very soon. Sir, you can't camp here. This is a locals only spot. Hey, man. <laughs> F you. Who do you work for? Hi, friends. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Hello. Oh, it's been too long. Oh, Sorry to shove the camera in your face as soon as I see oh, you. Keep right into it. Yeah. 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 To us like in August or July. Oh man. And uh, we've gone camping like three times you since get out. All right. On today's episode of Kim's Not Very Good outdoor cooking show. Uh, I am making grandma's meat. Now if you haven't heard of grandma's meat in a previous episode, um, it is bulgogi, which is Korean barbecue. Uh, it's like flank steak in a marinade. And this bulgogi recipe is my grandmother's recipe, which I will never share with anybody. Let's get started. Back to Miami. <laughs> you, get used, you, get, you get used to fucking <laughs> Western we're, we're time we're to get to it. Like, like, oh yeah, we're, we're going to go out and party. And, then, like... and there you have it, folks. Grandma's me. All right. So, we've got Dylan and we've got Tessa. 
Dylan, you want to tell us what happened last weekend? Oh, man, we're we going into this for real. Uh, so we've been bombing around in the woods around our home and sisters, like, in the snow. No problem. All winter. Like, good quality snow. Um, and that just kind of led to a little bit of overconfidence. And so we went out last weekend, uh, just a little snow drive in before the football games. Um, and, you know, we, we were driving, it was like maybe like three inches deep of snow, like chilling. We got some pretty sisters views. Uh, and then it went from three inches to three feet. My wife, Tessa. What did Tessa have to say? Stop. <laughs> what did Dylan have to say? We can keep going. I really want to explore this road. And, you know, it goes downhill. <laughs> and when you go downhill, there should be less snow, right? Wrong. Not so much. No. Um, yeah. And so we went from uh, three inches of snow to three feet of snow. And the truck took a belly flop. And we had to do the walk of shame out of the woods. In heels. Yep. In heels. <laughs> Six inch heels, post holing all the way through, both of us. It was especially weird for me. Um, He's really not used to those heels yet. Yeah. Let's take a yeah. And uh, we, we walked until we got cell service. Another nice couple uh, picked us up and drove us back to town. And um, I made a call that I didn't want to make. Uh, and we got Mr. Casey Liddell to come in with his track jeep and pull our fat truck out of the snow. This is a great video. No need to be embarrassed. It, it happens to everyone when they make stupid decisions, yeah. You might not be able to see it because it's dark, but his face is cherry red. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll have a little uh, recap video out probably in the next yes. uh, couple days here. <laughs> and hey, go I, check out Casey's video. I would have well. made that call much sooner than you did, so. So would his uh. wife. <laughs> The call for the rescue or the getting, call to turn around? Are you getting chilly in that shade? Um, <laughs> is this Dylan's doing? Combined. Jeez, indeed. This is, this is Christmas wood. You know what they call this setup? A Malaysian Marlboro. Morning. Good morning. Ooh, look at this rat's nest. That's what happened when you sit with a hat on. It was very cold last night. So was my dog, apparently, because he was smothering me with his body. And we're gonna get up and make some coffee. Obviously. That's what we do every morning. All right. morning after coffee yeah yeah a little bit better to say anything when we first wake up doesn't everybody i guess there's a few people in the world who wake up and they're yep. like oh well we uh we're gonna get packed up here soon and head out and probably go maybe grab a little lunch in sisters since we're so close 
we, re we really like to go to uh, Sister's Coffee when we're out here, so I'm gonna go hit that up and head on home. Just a quick one-nighter to get outside. It poured down rain on us last night while we were sleeping. It, uh, Dylan and Tessa left around like 10 o'clock, I think, and uh, yeah, it started kind of coming down right around the time they were leaving, so. But Said we were supposed to get snow, but we only got rain, which is probably for the best. Yeah, and I mean, it was while we were sleeping, pretty much, and getting ready for bed, so it yeah. didn't really matter. Thanks for watching. We're going to get packed up here, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully, it'll be sooner than later. It oh, will be. It will be. <laughs> see ya. Bye.